Hello and welcome to another edition of On the Pitch with Duoc Football. I am Mike Splickhaber and tonight we are joined by the starting outside backs for the women's team. We have number five, Linda Vries from East Moline, Illinois, and number 11, Sarah Trump from Flossmoor, Illinois. Thanks for joining me tonight, girls. No problem. Yep. Um, we'll get right into it, uh, Sarah. You guys have won all your games since St. Ambrose. What has changed in maybe you guys' mentality or attacks since that game? We've just been playing more confidently as a team. Um, getting to know how the freshmen play has also really helped with connecting during the games. All right, and then um, Lynn, you guys have really been uh, firing on all cylinders, um, beating teams pretty handedly. Would you say that uh, is attributed to a lack of competition or just um, you guys getting to know each other? Um, I don't think it's a lack of competition at all. Yeah, we're going to play good teams and we're going to play bad teams, but I think we, we obviously need to play every game the hardest that we can, and I think last year doing so well, um, we came in kind of with our heads high, and I think that having those losses brought us back down to earth, and now we're starting to play like we were last year. All right, and like I said before, you guys are the starting outside backs for the team. Um, have you had a, a good number of shutouts? Uh, Lynn, how is it to make the transition to that outside back position? I know you've been kind of more of an attacking player before. Yeah, I mean, at first I was really hesitant about it and pretty worried about being able to play that position. Obviously, I've never played it before, but I really like it a lot. It's a lot of fun, especially playing with Sarah and Kinsey. So, yeah. And uh, so, Sarah, how, how do you uh, feel about Lynn coming back there? Obviously, she's uh, done pretty well back there. I love having Lynn back there. It makes me feel pretty confident when she... With her behind me, if I get beat, I know I have a quick defender with her and Kinsey behind me. She connects great with the midfield, and that's what we need coming from the back. All right, and um, as far as defense goes, guys, um, what does it take to um, be a defensive team unit? You know, you guys have had a couple shutouts. Obviously, Chambers got the player of the week uh, last week. Um, what does it mean for you guys, you, Kinsey, uh, Katie, and uh, you guys to um, be as a team? It means a lot to us. I mean, we take pride in having shutouts and stuff. It's a lot of fun. And also, we're starting to work with um, Katie a lot more in the goal and, like, passing it back to her and having her work it out instead of just us kicking it up the field, like, to no one. We're, we're really working on, like, connecting. All right. And then um, you guys have, uh, you guys got the win at Co. Yeah. Um, strong start in the IAC. Um, what's that mean for you guys, and who are you looking forward to uh, in playing in the IAC? We still need to take it one game at a time. Uh, we have Wartburg coming up. But more importantly, we have a game Saturday. So, like I said, one game at a time, and we have good games coming up. Cool. Um, Lynn, you guys have a pretty good second line that usually comes in. Um, pretty deep team. What's it mean to have some people that are able to come off the bench and bring the same kind of intensity as that first team? Yeah, I think that's um, a big difference from last year to this year. It's been a lot of fun, and we even saw that when we played um, Wheaton. Even though we lost, we still realized that, hey, the, the girls that are coming in off the bench are doing a really good job, and um, so that's been, been really cool for us this year. Um, Sarah, what, what do you think the biggest test of the season that you still have to come um, is going to be? Um, I feel like we have Wartburg coming up, which is a huge game for us, but... Like I said, one game at a time, and we just need to play our game against Wartburg. Okay, and Lynn, we have uh, Central coming up this weekend. Um, what are you guys looking at as far as Central goes, and what are you looking to go into the match doing? Um, last year we beat Central pretty handily, so um, I think we need to keep our heads on straight and not come out with the mindset that we beat them by so much last year and um, just come out like they were any other team, like Wartburg or um, Wheaton or any good team like that. So it should be fun. All right, and playing at home in the Rock Bowl, Sarah, um, you guys have had a number of games in the Rock Bowl. What's that mean that you don't have to travel number one and then number two just playing on the home turf? I love playing at home. I mean, even in the locker rooms, it's so different than when we're on the go and we just get more up and ready to go when we're at home. All right, and Lynn, um, we kind of touched on it a little bit last week. You guys kind of like to do a little bit of a ritual of dancing <laughs> at halftime. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? Why, why do you guys uh, employ that tactic, I suppose? Um, I don't know. I think it's just to get our energy level up. And not, I mean, our team is really good at having, having fun before the games instead of sitting there and being serious. I think it not only like, gets our energy up, but also unites us as a team. Yeah, it may, may loosen you up too. Uh, Sarah, 
What kind of dance moves do you bring to the table in, in the second in, you know, in halftime? I just let Allie Schmidt take over. <laughs> Allie and Rieger. <laughs> Allie and Rieger, the the leaders here. Yep, they got the moves. All right, um, Lynn, we'll go on. I know we're not trying to overlook any teams, especially this uh, Central coming up this weekend. But obviously, you guys' game against Warburg is going to be a very, very big matchup. Um, what do you look at as far as Warburg goes? What do you What do you think are the keys to that game? I really hate to shut you down, but I would get in a lot of trouble if I talked about that. So I'm going to have to say that we take one game at a time. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to talk about that. I'm sure Coach Rothro is going <laughs> to yeah. be pretty pumped to hear that. Um, that's all we have for you really this week, guys. Thank you for joining me for On the Pitch. Thank um, you for having us. Yeah, and good luck this weekend. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.